Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tudrudlini Test Prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number two on how to use the TI-30X Pro Math Print Scientific Calculator for the Digital SAT Math Quadratic Formula. Please note that I will only be covering uses where the TI outshines Desmos. I recommend you use Desmos for most questions. Everything covered in this lesson cannot be performed on the TI-36X Pro. You must use the model previously mentioned. Let's get started. Okay, so for this question, first thing we're going to do is recall that standard form of a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Um, then we're going to identify a, b, c and jump to the calculator. So um, I see that a is the coefficient of x squared is positive 1, b is 4, and c is negative 11. Now we're ready to go to the calculator and solve it. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to press second and then cosine above where it says polysolve. We're going to click on the very first option. That's a, for a quadratic. So press Enter. And now we're going to put in the constants we came up with. So 1, Enter, 4, Enter. And then negative, make sure you're using this tiny negative sign to, de to denote a negative number, negative 11. Press Enter. And it tells us the first solution is negative 2 plus square root 15. And if we press down on the arrows, um, it'll tell us the other solution is negative 2 minus square root 15. If you recall from the problem, it wanted the one with a plus in front of the square root. So this is the one we're going to use. OK, let's go back to the board and lock in our answer. OK, so remember, one of our solutions was um, negative 2 plus square root 15. If we hold that up to negative 2 plus square root k, um, we can see that k is equal to 15. So that would be our answer for this one. Awesome, let's do one more example. Okay, same deal for this question. Um, we're just gonna hold up ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. A is one, b is negative 10, and c is positive six. So a is one, b is negative 10, c is positive six. And just before we jump to the calculator, I'll point out that again, we want, we want the solution with a plus in front of it. Doesn't matter too much. All right, let's jump to the calculator. Okay, same deal. We're going to press second, polysolve, enter. And we're going to put our constants in. 1, um, negative 10, and then 6. Press enter. And we get 5 plus root 19 and 5 minus root 19. Remember the question, um, the way it was phrased, it wanted the one with the plus. So this is the one we're going to use, 5 plus root 19. OK, let's go back to the board and lock in our answer. OK, so once again, the solution is asking us about is 5 plus root 19. If I jot down what it says in the question, a plus square root b, you can see that a is 5 and b is 19. So the question wants a, b. So we're going to do 5 times 19, which is 95. And that would be the answer to this question. So you can see, guys, that knowing how to do this on your scientific calculator can literally help you get an entire question correct. This is very helpful. I hope you take the time to learn how to do this. Let's wrap up. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you're interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor SAT math and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.